ANC chairperson Gwede Mantasha has laid down the gauntlet amid a debate that the NEC recalls President Jacob Zuma from the highest office in the land. Mantasha says while there are those who insist President Zuma is going nowhere, there's nothing like no-go areas for the party's leadership. Speaking at a wreath-laying ceremony of the party's longest-serving president of the ANC, or Tambo, Mantasha added that the, the party has reached its lowest and it must recover. In praising Owar Tambo's leadership, Gwede Mantasha recalled how during the 1969 Morokoro Consultative Conference, Tambo offered to resign due to the turmoil the party was facing then. That is the call on you and me, Paul. That's a call on you and me. Uh, if, you see, if we can do the right thing, we must offer to resign. And if we can't do that, we're failing Oliver Tam. This almost sets the tone for a debate that's currently raging on. Should the NEC recall President Jacob Zuma, or should he be allowed to finish his term, which ends in 2019? Zuma is going nowhere. No, it's not his call. When there is a leadership of the ANC, there is the basic re uh, requirement that that leadership must analyze the movement broadly. Weakness of the last two, three years has been personification of politics. We can't personalize politics. We must talk African National Congress. And as we analyze the ANC, there is nothing called a no-go area. Mandasha says the ANC's executives should be allowed space to deal with this matter. However, it's not on the agenda of the Wednesday meeting. Newly elected Treasurer General Paul Mashatile, who was Gauteng's chairman, a province that called on the president to quote-unquote do the right thing and step down is now trading carefully. Well, I, I don't represent the... ANC in Gauteng anymore, uh, <coughs> so I can't comment on their behalf. I think it will be wrong. And now that I'm Treasurer General, Comrade Makura is leading the Gauteng team. The top six will meet on Tuesday. This will be their first meeting since the elective conference. Alderan Simpia, SABC News, Johannesburg.